Now see this question of mains. It says that what were the major technological changes introduced during the Sultanate period? How did those technological change influence Indian society? Now, if you talk about the changes introduced by Delhi Sultans in the field of agriculture, first of all, the technique of the Persian water wheel. Persian water wheel, also called Sakya, improved a lot. So what do you mean by this Persian water wheel? It was like this, that was used for irrigation. Then the sultans like Muhammad bin Tughlaq introduced so many model farms that would help in disseminating good techniques of agriculture among the people. Sultans like Firoz Shah Tughlaq contributed a lot towards horticulture and improving the technique of producing fruits in India. He himself founded nearly 1200 fruit gardens. Now, if you talk about the field of trade and craft, the cotton production, cotton cloth production in India improved a lot because this was the time charkha was introduced and dhunia was introduced. So, what do you mean by dhunia? The carder's bow, which is used to separate the cotton from the seed and basically to separate the cotton fibers. That is what is called dhunia or the carder's bow. It basically improved the cotton cloth production in India. Not only this, sultans introduced so many new techniques of paper production because the demand of paper was constantly increasing. Leather production technique improved. Then, coming from Central Asia and Middle East, the technique improved the glasswork production in India. Not only this, this stone polish became much better because of the new techniques introduced that time. Just like that, if you talk about the field of architecture, the Muslim rulers for the first time in India introduced the scientific technique of making arch and dome. Have you heard that when you talk about dome like a structure, even a stupas were dome like a structure, but they were not scientific dome because they were filled from inside. The first time the scientific technique of dome and arch construction was introduced, it was Delhi Sultanate time. A perfect example is Alai Darwaja that was constructed by Alauddin Khalji. It is in Delhi, just nearby Qutub Minar. Then, Indian style of architecture was mainly using the stone blocks, but the Sultanate time, the Muslim rulers introduced the technique of use of bricks and gypsum in construction. Now, if you talk about the social impact of all these technologies introduced in India, we have to figure out that the confluence of the techniques of the Islamic style and Indian style in architecture certainly gave way to Indo-Islamic cultural form of architecture in India and that would be called Indo-Islamic architecture. Then the surplus production that was there in agriculture because of the new techniques which were introduced, sustained urbanization and third wave of urbanization came in India. The first wave of urbanization was IBC in India. The second wave of urbanization in India was in Ganga area and that was the age of Mahajan Padas. And most of the historians believe that the third wave of urbanization came with the advent of the Turks and the Muslim rulers in India. And certainly the introduction of so many technologies made the economy very vibrant. So, in introduction, can we not say that with the advent of the Turks, so many new ideas were infused in almost every field, including the field of technology and science? And in conclusion, can we not say that the impact of these techniques introduced in India by the Sultans certainly had deep and permanent impact? One good example is in the Islamic architecture that is still part of our life.